Hi everyone, this is Daniel Rawat here. Today's topic explains a brief about the reality of the cybersecurity industry. So let's jump on it. Today's topic explains about interconnectedness of cyber risk impacts and mitigation planning. So let's learn more about it. The interconnectedness of cybersecurity risks refer to the complex and interdependent nature of cybersecurity threats their impacts and the strategies used to mitigate them. So let's discuss how cyber risks are interconnected and how organizations can develop mitigation plans to address them. First is interdependencies in digital ecosystem. In today's interconnected digital ecosystems, organizations rely on various technologies, networks and third party vendors to conduct business operations. Technologies like ERP, CRM, collaboration tools for project management like Microsoft Teams, Slack, Zoom, and business intelligence systems in the cyber solutions. In cyber solutions, we can consider antivirus softwares, IDPs for cyber threats. In the networks, local area networks, wide area networks, WANs, and the virtual private networks. In the cloud infrastructure, we use AWS, Azure, Google Platform and all. Similarly, in the third party vendors, cloud service providers, companies that offer cloud based infrastructure, platforms and software as a service, such as Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure. Software vendors like providers of commercial off the self cost software solution for various business functions such as Oracle, SAP and Salesforce and managed service providers, MSPs, organizations that offer outsource IT services, including network management, service security, and helpless support. Similarly, there are um, other third-party vendors like the voice, the voice over IP providers, mobile phone plans for telecommunications, and for data center providers who provides um, managed services for storage, networking equipment for organizations like uh, Equinix uh, and Digital Reality and Cyrus One. These are a couple of examples of uh, network and technologies in the third party vendors. What are the mitigation plans? Organizations should conduct comprehensive risk assessment to identify critical dependencies, vulnerabilities, and potential attack vectors within their digital ecosystem. Mitigation strategies may include implementing robust access control, encryption measures, and continuous monitoring to detect and respond to security incident promptly. So now let's jump onto the other topic, ripple effect of data breaches. Data breaches can have far reaching consequences beyond financial losses and regulatory fines. They can damage customer trust, erode brand reputation, and lead to legal liabilities, affecting stakeholders such as customers, employees, partners, and investors. For example, Equifax in 2017 data compromised personal information of approximately 147 million customers, including names, social security numbers, birth dates, addresses, and in some cases, driver license numbers and credit card numbers. Consequences Equifax faced widespread public backlash legal actions and regulatory scrutiny, which causes significant loss of trust and reputation damage for the company. Similarly, Yahoo in 2013-2014 data compromised. Yahoo suffered multiple data breaches affecting billions of user accounts. So the breaches exposed usernames, email addresses and hashed password. In some cases, security questions and answers as well. Consequences, a decline in user trust and confidence, contributing to Verizon's decision to renegotiate its acquisition deal with Yahoo at lower price. Yahoo also faced numerous lawsuits and regulation investment, uh, regulatory investigations, resulting in significant legal and financial repercussions. Similarly, Target 2013 data was compromised. Hackers gained access to Target's systems and stole payment and card data from 
approximately 40 million customers. Facebook did a compromise. The personal data of up to 87 million Facebook users was improperly obtained and used for targeted political advertising by Cambridge Analytica, a data analytics firm. Facebook faced significant public backlash, regulatory investigations and legal challenges resulting in reputational damage and financial penalties. The other one is Marriott International 2018 data compromise. Marriott disclosed a data breach affecting approximately 500 million guests of its Starwood hotel reservation system. The breach exposed personal information including names, contact details, passport numbers and travel information. The breach had significant impact on Marriott reputation and brand resulting in financial losses and the implementation of enhanced cybersecurity measures. So to mitigate the ripple effect of data breaches, organizations should prioritize data protection measures including encryption, tokenization and data loss prevention solution. Additionally, organizations should develop incident response plan and communication strategies to respond effectively to data breaches, minimize reputational damage and restore stakeholder confidence. Next is convergence of physical and cyber risks. The convergence of physical and cyber risks known as cyber physical risks poses unique challenges for organizations operating critical infrastructure industrial systems and IoT devices. A cyber attack targeting operational technology systems can lead to physical damage, production disruptions and safety hazards. Physical and cyber risk means that threats to physical assets and infrastructure. For example, a cyber attack on critical infrastructure systems like power grids, transportation networks can have physical consequences such as power outages and transportation disruptions. Um, for example, cyber physical systems, CPS, refers to interconnected systems that integrate physical components with digital control systems. Examples include uh, industrial control systems, ICS, smart building and autonomous vehicles. IoT devices such as smart cameras, sensors, Connected appliances are vulnerable to cyber attacks that can compromise physical security, disrupt operations, and stealing sensitive data. Supply chain risks, supply chain attacks targeting physical components or software components can have both physical and cyber impacts, affecting product integrity, safety, and cyber security. Insider threats, insider threats can involve employees or individuals with access to physical assets and digital systems posing risks such as theft, sabotage, or unauthorized access to the sensitive data. Organizations should adopt a holistic approach to cyber security that integrates physical security controls such as access controls, surveillance systems, and intrusion detection system IDS with cyber defenses. Implementing network segmentations, anomaly detection, Resilience measures can help mitigate cyber physical risks and protect critical infrastructure from cyber attacks. Now, let's jump on to the next topic, supply chain vulnerabilities. I covered some of this stuff in the previous slide. The impact would be organizations rely on interconnected supply chains to source code services and technology components from third-party vendors and suppliers. However, supply chain vulnerabilities such as software supply chain attacks and vendor security breaches can expose organizations to significant cyber risk. What are the mitigation planning? Organizations should assess and monitor the security posture of their supply chain partners, conduct due diligence on third-party vendors and establish contractual agreements that include cyber security requirements and incident response protocols. Implementing vendor risk management programs and threat intelligence sharing mechanism can help mitigate supply chain vulnerabilities and enhance overall server 
resilience next topic is shared threat intelligence cyber threats are constantly evolving and organizations face a common adversary in cyber criminals nation state actors and other threat actors sharing threat intelligence and collaborating with industry peers government agencies and cyber security organizations can help organizations identify emerging threats patterns of attacks and best practices for mitigations how to mitigate organizations should participate in threat intelligence sharing initiative information sharing forums and industry specific cyber security alliances industry specific cyber security alliances to exchange threat data indicators of compromises and actionable insights leveraging threat intelligence platforms threat hunting capabilities and incident response exercises can enable organizations to proactively detect analyze and respond to cyber threats more effectively now conclusion by recognizing the interconnectedness of cyber risks and adopting a proactive and collaborative approach to cyber security organizations can enhance their resilience mitigate threats and safeguard their digital assets and operations against evolving cyber threats that's all from me now on this topic if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already consider subscribing for more learning in the future videos thank you for listening